Hey guys, it's Sam Creative Productions and today I am doing the second part of the Civil War Showcase and I have Iron Man, Black Widow, Black Panther, Rhodey, which is slash Rhodey, and um, Spider-Man. So, yes, and if you're wondering where is Vision? Okay, Vision is not finished, even though I did say I only had little things to do in him, but I didn't have time to work on him and I wanted this showcase to just come out today. But Vision will be in a later showcase with Crossbones, which is right here, even though in my first video I did say he was going to be in this showcase, but no. He'll be in the next one, and um, so is uh, Baron Zemo and uh, maybe Sharon Cup. Maybe 50% confirmed, but um, thank you for 200 and like 50 views for my Captain America showcase. It's my highest views I ever got in my life. But without further ado, we should get started with these five figures here, and I will start off with Iron Man first. So let's go. Okay, guys, so starting off with the Mark. 46 armor uh, Iron Man and uh, first of all, I just want to say I didn't I don't have gold um, Painting so I used the yellow instead, but it still looks pretty good and I, I have no like qualms about that So yeah, but another thing is if you're wondering what this armor is you should go check out my uh, mark one review which not many people watched but um Yes, uh, I did talk about this armor. It is not an amazing armory or whatever Whatever those really good customizers buy, like Michael and Jeff and some other people, but it doesn't matter. I did arm printing, both sides. I did leg printing on both sides, but I didn't do back printing. And this is actually a Mark 42 suit, not that Mark 46 one. Because this is because I didn't have time to go buy the biggest set. And, but after I made this figure, I did go and buy this set, so, but I didn't have enough time to finish it off, so, I decided to just go with this, and, of course, I did outline his, um, helmet, so, yeah, and then I painted silver here, and then I painted black here to make the master cool, and also, um, I did paint the, uh, eyes, uh, light blue, and the inside of the HUD looks really bad, but, it doesn't really matter, but of course I did paint his uh, bruised eye that he had in the trailers and stuff, especially in the movie, and when Bucky hit him and stuff, and I did give him this hair I got from Superman that I didn't use for my Superman figure. So yeah, it looks pretty cool on him. I got this idea from uh, Michael GF, so go check him out, he, which most probably of you most probably have because he's the best. Not to say anything bad about the others, but okay, so I'll just give you a real close look to him right now. Okay, this figure was quite hard to make. After I made the armor and stuff, a lot of people said, um, especially my friends, did say that it was bad because it was just white. It had nothing on it. And then when I painted red, I just put like blue dots and it didn't make sense. So I had to redo it all. And then after that, I got a good idea of what it looks like. So I did paint the arc reactor, of course. And uh, it's not that big. But I did make the shape look good, and I did um, also I had showed pads, which I painted silver and black with those lines. And the arm printing is one of my favorite because I added those blue things as well. Both sides. And also for um, the legs, I did all I did was basically just paint that. And the legs are just basically... They're not... That wasn't that hard to do, but painted the eyes, of course, light blue, all the other stripes. And with the helmet, I did add these two lines, but then I actually ripped it off one side by accident because I, I didn't look and I did cut it off. But it looks kind of battle damage to me, so yeah. So until our next figure, and this is way over time. Okay, Rhodey was not an easy figure to do, but he was the first one to finish because I did have a good idea of what I wanted him to do. Because if you check out my friend Daniel Pi124, I did uh, make him a war machine, but I wasn't happy with that war machine. So I decided to add 
different things into it. So first of all, I will show you his battle stick. And um, let's put him here. And then uh, the battle stick is um, it was just a basic uh, black stick right here. And then I just added, sculpted this thing, red lines onto it. And I made it cut battle damage as well. But um, if you see his suit, oh, whoops, I dropped him. And his gun came off. Yes, but if you look at him in the movie, he does have a lot of battle damage scars on him. So I decided to make it kind of scrappy for the looks of what he is. And um, the arc reactor is quite big in the middle. But I didn't have the idea of giving him red eyes until the end. Like, my friend Daniel Pi 1 to 4 did say it looked cooler, so I decided to do it. And it does look okay, but I didn't paint the art reactor red because in the whole movie he never had his art reactor red. But um, of course I didn't print 003, but I still added all these tiny details on them, like um, like on the legs. I did give him pads here and here, shoulder pads as well, uh, hand pads as you can see here, here, and um. I just want to talk about the uh, mask. It is not Legos. This is my very own, and I did outline it with silver. Um, yes, but I don't want to lift up the HUD because it's not rody on the inside. Because I didn't have a rody head, even though as much as I wanted to. But on the sides, yeah, yeah, and on the back, there's no back printing except for like a few lines, which no bother because it's so hard taking off the gun. But the gun is a custom um. Like a lightsaber, but then I just sculpted the top and then I put four dots in like that. So it looks pretty cool. And um for um this one he um I did um add of course this the hook for his stick right here, but it's really quite hard uh to put it all together sometimes. But here this is the full figure without him holding anything. That's the back. And that is Roly for you guys. So, Okay, I'm really sorry about the ending before. Because I was a bit tired. Uh, still to get a local work done after this. So, But this is Spider-Man. Tom Holland. He was awesome in the movie. But of course, this is my first Spider-Man. And it was really hard to do in intense. Especially all the lines here and on his... Especially on the webbing on his head. My friend Daniel Pi 124 did make fun of me because he said it looks so ugly. It wasn't even funny, but I agreed with him for once because it was pretty ugly. But then, because I'll just talk about the back first because there's not much to talk about. It's just basically a simple spider on the back, a line across. And um, of course, this back part looks a bit weird because it was so hard to get cross lines and everything even. So it was only basically this part that worked, not that part. So his legs as well have webbing all around, and um, his uh, blue pants part, and my stand is ripped off, and it absolutely ripped off, but, okay, so, that's what I was saying is, um, I did put silver lines on his uh, pants, well, his blue thing, and especially on the side, and then his web shooter uh, really fails, are here, two here, and um, for the arm printing, if you're wondering, where is the webbing? I didn't put it on because I thought it wouldn't work for this figure, so I didn't do it. But I feel I kind of regret not doing it, even though I might do it in the future and then show you guys. Yeah, I promise. And I drew the spider. Kind of failed though, because it's just a really weird shape. And um, of course the web shooters are here. And here, and um, this is a pretty hard figure to do, especially the eyes. The eyes are pretty hard. Um, they, they were definitely not a easy task, but I did it. And especially the webbing um in the front. This part stuffed up a bit, but everything else was pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with this figure because it's my first Spider-Man I ever did, and I'm pretty proud of Tom Holland. So let's get on to the next figure. Um. Who is it, Black Widow? Okay, guys, straight up, I did not expect this figure to come together. Okay, first of all, um, for Scarlett Johansson and uh, slash Black Widow, um, 
slash Natasha Romanoff, but uh, I used Lego's head. It's because I didn't find a problem with that, to be honest, even though a lot of customizers do. Um, it's because I tried to make a face, but it looked really weird, and I'm not good at making girls' faces that you clearly see on my Scarlet Witch I stuffed up. I'll show you guys again, because I am not keeping this figure. I'm just going to trash it. Legit. Okay, so, of course, for uh, Black Widow, first of all, I just want to talk about the hair. Okay, the hair, if you're wondering what this is, it's just normal, like, Wonder Woman hair. Except I shaved off the crown. And I did, and if you're wondering, oh, where's all the bumps then? Oh, well, I covered it with this sculpting material that I had. And then I just painted it orangey, reddish type of color, so... Yeah, it looks pretty cool, but at first I thought she had, like, dark brown hair, but she didn't, so I changed it because my friend, Danny Power 124 of course, I've been saying his name for quite a while, He's he did say, oh, that hair doesn't look right, so I decided to change it into this, so she looks much better now, and I didn't give her any access accessories except for her, those hand things she has, like those electricity um, things she had. In the movie, and I added them to her, and also I just added these two lines down. Pretty sure there's more than that, I just didn't see anything. And for a back, I just, all I did was this. Of course, this is the more aggressive facial expression, so. But I didn't really like this face, so I just kept it with the smiling one. And um, for the front, uh, there's not much, I just painted uh, two stripes down, and... Um, of course, I did this zip, and then the belt thing, and then uh, for this side, so this side printing with the legs, um, I did these gun holders. I didn't sculpt them, which sucks because it was too hard. But yeah, both sides have it. But um, yeah, so that's not much to talk about this figure to be honest. But yeah, Black Widow. And she somehow made it into the show showcase, so Black Panther's next. Okay, guys, I just want to say a few things before I talk about this figure. Okay, a lot of you will think this is bad. Well, I was planning to make another face, I mean mask for him, but I was like, no. Because I just had to change a few things with it. And, um, okay, first of all, I just want to talk about the head. Okay. There was a bigger head than this before, and then I wasn't happy with that, so I changed it to this. And I looked at this, and I was like, yeah. And my friend said it was bad. Um, but I was like, okay, it is bad. But I f flattened out the face, and it looks quite okay right now. And I don't think I'm going to do another face or mask. I might, and then I'll show you guys. But right now, I'm just going to show you as what he is. Because I did copy off Lego's uh, torso, same as the back, except I just added a few of my own things to it. Side of the legs have printing, the front of the legs, side. And then of course these hand prints of these things. I didn't sculpt the clothes even though I wanted to, which sucks because um, it was too hard to do. I tried, I failed. Of course for this, um, from the back. Yeah, that's actually what his mask looks like. Um, so yeah, and for the back side again, so much to talk about this figure. So let's get to the ending. Um, the outro. Okay, guys, thank you for watching, and I just wanted to say thank you to all those people who keep supporting me on and on again, and especially for some new subscribers coming in. I'm just glad that you guys enjoy my work because. These figures, well, not all of them, but took me so long to do. I just, I can't believe I did it, to be honest. I never thought it was a hard challenge for me, okay? But I did it, and I'm proud of it. And um, I know there's a few mistakes and stuff, but I'm a new customizer. I just started this year. You can't expect a lot from me, especially when I don't finish figures that I promise you that I will.